So when I'm starting out to create raw material for an instrument, I found that, that less is more. For creating simpler instruments, um, you can think of, it, think of it like you're designing a sample that has generally one pitch. On the piano, that means you just have one key, but with some preparation, what I've designed is um, using some this, this putty. I've designed it so th there are three notes on the keyboard that resonate three different versions of the same pitch. So I'm gonna record some of that, just that kind of tremolo, this random playing these three notes, because what, I, what I'm imagining is I can play chords of these beautiful tremolos. And I think it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> So basically what you can do with this like uh, mounting putty, it's just poster tack, you can, you can create little balls like I've done here and, and position them in different places on the strings. And depending on where you put them on the string, you can alter the, um, the pitch. So this is, the, this is a B natural. I've muted this one. If I put it way over here, it just kind of creates more of a muted sound. But then with the C natural, I've put it up here and it kind of tunes it down to the B and then the C sharp tunes it down to a version of the B as well. What I like is there's some variance in the pitch. Again, I'm going for some sound that's like, that's like a little bit strange. I'm not really interested in sampling the sound of a piano, just ding, I mean, I can just, there's plenty of other uh, piano libraries out there that can do that better than I could. I could. So um, I wanna create something more evocative. Again, I'm not going for complexity, I'm going for emotional resonance and, and just sort of like a, something that's supersonically interesting just um, just right out of the gate. I think this sounds amazing, so I'm gonna record it. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a tremolo for a while. And again, the goal is I'm gonna pull this little piece of audio in um, to a software sampler and map it to a keyboard and then start to discover what I can do. My goal is to create a, as much kind of variation as possible and as I'm recording, as I'm recording, I, I just want to listen because I want to listen for like little opportunities. The more I found I pay attention while I'm recording, uh, the quicker the programming process is because I can kind of zero in. I don't have to listen back to everything. I can really zero in on a moment that I'm like, oh, I remember this amazing thing happened. I'm going to go find that. Subscribe to Soundfly to get started. <laughs>